Hi everyone, in this video I will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a custom GPT. I will show you how to make it execute actions on your behalf and later in this video I will also share with you over 200 GPTs that have been gathered from the community. If you haven't watched my previous video, definitely check it out first because in that video I explained what a GPT is and why most people should learn how to use it. I also mentioned a GPT idea in that video which is to replicate someone you want to get an advice from by using their content such as books, videos, etc. So let's do that with the same person I mentioned before, Naval Ravikant. I will share my screen now and we will create some great GPTs together. Here we have this nice new interface for ChatGPT. Now we can use GPT-4 with DALI 3, web browsing, data analysis, all without having to switch between them. Here in the top left corner you have your GPTs. Click explore and then create a GPT. Now, the GPT builder has two tabs, create and configure. The configure tab is where you can directly input the GPT name, description, custom instructions, and attach some files. The create tab is where you can simply chat with ChatGPT and it will ask you questions to guide you through the creation of a GPT bot. It couldn't be any easier, honestly. You can also jump between the two tabs, input something manually, then ask ChatGPT to generate something, then switch back to manual input and continue creating. For this example, let's stick to the Create tab. I am going to ask it to make a replica of Naval Ravikant, who guides me in business and wealth creation. So, my first message is a general description of what I want to make. Then I just answer the questions from ChatGPT and the first one is to create a name. How about naming this GPT Naval's Compass? Do you like this name or do you have another suggestion? Let's ask it to name it um, Naval GPT. The second step is generating the profile picture. Again, ChatGPT is using DALI 3 to create an icon for me, which I could accept and ask it to regenerate it, or I could upload my own picture. I will demonstrate a bit later in the video how to do it, but for now let's ask it to change it and illustrate a man with money. Okay, it is generating another profile picture. Let's say I like it and just move on. The next step is to clarify the role and goal of this GPT. We need to describe the specific topics or areas for it to cover, provide examples, etc. So this is the step where I would usually add the files with additional knowledge. Let's go to the Configure tab and here we have the Upload Files button. I'm going to attach two PDF files. The first would be the book titled The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. It is around 250 pages long. Another PDF file would be a transcript of this three and a half hour long podcast on how to get rich. YouTube now has an option to get a transcript for any video. You need to scroll down, click show transcript and then copy the whole transcript of the YouTube video. I already pasted it into a PDF so I have it ready. Now I click upload files and select these two PDF files. Okay, one of them uh, is uploaded and another one got an error. Let's just try again. Okay, now it is good. Both files are attached. Real quick, let's enable all the capabilities including code interpreter and then go back to the create tab. Now I ask it to use Naval's teaching based on the attached files to provide in-depth advice. Be constructive and apply Naval's teachings to a particular case of a user. Alright, now that we have established the context for Naval GPT, the next step is to refine its behavior. That's the step where you should also include what to avoid and what this GPT should not do. So, I say Naval should be a mentor to a user and avoid speaking in general terms. Now, it is asking me whether Naval GPT should ask for more information if a user query is vague or try to provide the best possible response based on the information given. Let's say ask for more information. And the last step is to personalize its approach to communication. In other words, set the tone and style of Naval GPT's responses. Let's make it casual. And that's it. My custom chat GPT is now set up and you can use this preview window on the right hand side to test it out. Let's ask it something like, how can I get wealthy? It is searching the knowledge first you know, meaning those PDFs files I just attached, and now it provides the response to my query. Let me see. 
these four points are actually the essence of Naval's wealth creation philosophy, especially this particular sentence. It is written in Naval's words. Apply specific knowledge with leverage and with time you will receive what you deserve. Wow. During our chat with ChatGPT in the Create tab, all it does is construct custom instructions based on our replies. So in the end, you can go here to the custom instructions and check if the end result is what you've anticipated. If something is missing, you can obviously edit it here. Then we have conversation starters, which you can also amend here. And if everything is okay, we can save this GPT. When you click save, there are three options. Only for me, only people with the link or public. If it's like public, obviously other people would be able to search, find and use your GPT. I'll select only me, click confirm and it is saved. From now on, it will be here in the upper left corner, always available for me to use. So to summarize the whole creation of a GPT, I have a simple six step guide, which you can download using the link in the description below. Step number one is to describe your GPT. Step number two is to create name and profile picture. Step number three is describe how to engage with the user. This is about writing style and tone. Step number four is to customize it with expanded knowledge through uploading files. And step number five is interact. This is to test how it works in the preview window. And the last step is just to publish it. That's it, very easy. Of course, it depends on the complexity of your GPT, but it can really be created only in a few minutes and published to use. Let's create one more, but this time we will only use the configure tab. In my file, I also have a few templates for you. Let's use one of them right now. I'll create a GPT for fitness coaching. First, copy and paste the profile name. Then instead of using the list three, this time I will upload my own image. Copy and paste the description, in this case, fitness coaching. Now I have the custom instructions that I copy and paste, and I have also things to avoid. So I'll type do not and copy and paste those as well. Then we have conversation starters. I also have them prepared in my template, so I will use those. For additional knowledge, I found this PDF file titled the personal training system and another book titled how to be an awesome personal trainer. I haven't read those, of course, but sound like what we need. So let's upload them one by one. Make sure all the capabilities are enabled. Double check the custom instructions. And that's how our GPT is configured. Let's quickly test it out. What are beginner friendly workouts? It is searching through the files I just uploaded. And after reviewing the available materials, it couldn't find specific information on beginner-friendly workouts. But in this case, it still has all the knowledge of GPT-4 and using it, our GPT bot provides us with some general suggestions and guidelines, which is also acceptable. Okay, one more thing we haven't discussed yet is actions. This is a slightly more advanced feature, but it is not that difficult to implement. Let's do it right now. If you add actions to your GPT, it will not only provide you with information, but also execute the actions on your behalf. There are companies such as Zapier, which you can use to enable AI actions across third-party apps like Discord, Slack, Gmail, Google Calendar, and thousands more. This is really easy. You just need to go to Zapier, open their OpenAI schema, copy it, and paste it into the action window. As an example, let's create a calendar assistant that can check and find events in your calendar on your behalf. Let's copy and paste the custom instructions. I don't want to come up with conversation starters on my own, so I'll switch to the Create tab and ask ChatGPT to create them for me. Now, when someone is going to use this GPT, they need, first of all, sign up with Zapier, obviously. Second of all, go to this Apps tab and add the relevant apps. Google Calendar in this case. And lastly, they need to enable the relevant actions. You can go to actions.zapier.com slash GPT slash actions, or you can just prompt the GPT bot to perform an action. Let's say, what do I have today? And it will verify if the required action is enabled. If it's not, 
it will redirect you to that Zapier page with actions. Okay, one more thing I promised to share with you is this directory with custom GPTs. The URL is allgpts.co. I will also attach it to the video description. There are over 200 custom GPTs created by various people, all of which are gathered in one place. You can search for keywords and select different categories and you'll get curated GPTs on your request. I find it to be a very useful tool for getting, you know, inspiration, finding interesting ideas for my own GPTs, or just using these GPTs right away if they are good enough. All right, that's all for today. I hope you've already started exploring GPTs. Let me know what you think about them. I'd be more than happy if my videos helped you even a little bit in figuring out how to work with them, because that's the purpose of this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.